in today's video I'm going to be doing my top 10 favourite Doctor Who companions. Now this is counting the classic era and modern era, but this is not counting the Peter Cushing 1965 and 1966 TV movie. So at number 10 is um, Graham O'Brien, played by Bradley Walsh. Now what I like about this character is that it could be really horrible to people, but he is nice to nice to everyone. At number nine is Wilfred Mott, uh, played by Bernard Cribbins. What I like about this character, he is old, but he has still got a lot of action in him. For his hate, for his age, he can still fight the villains as much as anyone else can. And fun fact, he was actually in the um, in the uh, movie in nineteen sixty six with Peter Cushion. At number 8 is Captain Jack Harkness, played by John Barrowman, and what I like about him, he is just full of action, he can fight every monster as much as, much as everyone, everyone can, and he is actually my girlfriend's favourite companion. At number 7 is Rose Tyler, and what I like about this person is that it's the first one of the modern era, and no one, well people like me didn't know about Doctor Who at all and for me this was the first companion I knew. At number six is Sarah Jane Smith but with the classic era portrayed by Elizabeth Sladen. What I like about this character is that she was always getting into trouble and the Doctor would have to help her. <clears throat> Sometimes it was a hindrance for the show but I felt that it was good for the show to have someone like that. At number 5 is Brigadier Alistair Gordon Lethbridge Stewart, or portrayed by or played by Nicholas Courtney. What I liked about this, he always got on with the Doctor. Sometimes they'd have their disagreements, but most of the time they would get on. And number 4 is Susan Foreman, played by Carol Ann Ford. Now, what I like about her, she is very knowledgeable for the Earth's history and the future. And she wouldn't tell anyone that she was an alien from a different planet until Ian and Barbara broke into the TARDIS effectively. At number three is Stephen Taylor, or played by Peter Purvis. What I like about this person is, or the character is that he was always happy and jolly, whatever situation he was in. And I actually met Peter Purvis at my local Comic Con in 2016. At number two is Victoria Waterfield, or played by Deborah Watling, I think it's pronounced. Now what I like about her, she was always getting into trouble, and the Doctor would have to save her. And I actually met her ten months, I think, before she died at my local Comic Con in 2016 as well. And at number one is Jamie McRibbins, played by Fraser Hines. Now what I like about him, he always got on with the Doctor. And they'd always fight the villains like they were each other, like they were two, the same person. And I actually met um, Fraser Hines at my local Comic Con back in 2018, so last year. And as always, information is correct as of this video going up, which is March 12th, 2019. As and as always, link in description to my girlfriend's channel and a friend's channel. And also, as always, thanks for watching and goodbye.